In this video, we're going to create an artist's trading card, which is two and a half inches by three and a half inches. To begin this project, I am going to draw my own stamp on the pale pink rubber stamp carving block. And I am just utilizing a ink pen. And I want to draw some botanicals. So you can see in the upper right hand corner where I have done one previously. And now I'm just drawing a second botanical. This is going to be used in the creation of ATC playing cards that are going to be traded in my Facebook group, Two Will Crows Mixed Media. So if you would like to join us over there, there is a link down in the description. Also, any item that I utilize when I'm creating is available for purchase over on my Amazon link, on my Amazon store. I do make a slight commission on that, but if you would like to find with ease what I use inside my videos, there's a link to that Amazon store in my description below too. Once I have those drawn, I will take the speedball carving tool and carve around the area that I illustrated. So everything in black will be what I want standing and everything not black or not where I have drawn is what I want to develop that relief or I want to remove that rubber stamp. I am not experienced in carving stamps. This is really the first time I've done it. I did it once before with just some squares. This is the first time I've actually drawn something and tried to carve around it. So we'll see how that goes. But I am just getting the material removed to highlight the area that I've drawn. So I hope I'm making sense, but I think it's pretty simplistic. This is a tool that I'm using, and once again, it is linked down below in my Amazon store if you don't have one and would like to pick it up easily. All of these little carving pieces are stored down inside the handle and that just screws off. They're easy to insert, they're easy to take out. I like this particular model simply because it keeps everything together. So now that I have all of that relief work done on that stamp, let's check it out and see how I did. So here is stamp number one. And I can see that I have some areas that I still need to remove. You can tell um, by the way it stamps. You can also take a look at the stamp and see the areas in black that you may not want to show. So we'll do a little more work and then try it once again. And I think it took me about five times to get this stamp where I really wanted it by removing product trying the stamp again, going back and removing it. So on the, yeah, I was right, on the fifth try, I actually got it where I wanted it. So this one I also carved out and it only took me two tries on that one. So I'm gonna put all my tools away and I just kept that in because I wanted to, you to see once again how easily they're stored there in the handle. And now I've decided that I would like another little focal point on this card and I pulled out the Shrinky Dink plastic. And I, you know, I'm kind of new to this. I know it's been around forever and I know people have used it forever, but you know, I, I haven't, and this is kind of the first time I've used it, and I'm, I'm pretty fond of it. So I thought I would grab some and pull out my wood stamps that I have purchased 
and create a little floral. The theme of this ATC card exchange is spring, and we're each making three cards and exchanging with one other artist. We do it a lot of different ways in the group. This is a new way, um, trying it for the first time. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes, but I am trading with a lady in Canada, so I need to get these done and get them in the post. So there's the shrinky dink. You just hit it with your heat gun and it shink, shrinks down into a very small size. I wanted to leave the audio in this one. Listen to how those sound. So they're hard, they clink, and I, I just think they make great charms. So now to create the background. The, my first thought with this ATC was to grid off two and a half inches by three and a half inches, add some watercolor, stamp it, add my shrinky dink, and I was good to go. So let's add some watercolor. I started with burnt sienna, and then I added in some phthalo blue or some, some just dark blue. Kind of a, you know, earth and floral color, I thought, and this is what I came up with. Now, <laughs> I'm going to stamp once the watercolor is dry. So I have everything gridded off with washi tape. My watercolors are dry, and I'm coming back and stamping each of those sections with those floral botanicals that I created utilizing that pale rubber stamp mat and my carving tool. Now to add just a little bit of a sparkle, I have that craft gold pen and I am just uh, touching down on the point to release some of that paint and I am painting, just splattering. So now I have all the little gold drops in place. And we'll set that aside and, and let it dry a bit after we get those on there. And once dry, we'll remove that washing. Now, <laughs> here is where everything went awry because I didn't measure properly. So those are not two and a half by three and a half inch images. So now I have to figure out how I'm going to create the ATC card. I want to use this, but it's not going to be used in the manner that I originally planned. So I think I'll just cut out the image itself and use it as a focal point. So here is where I, I discover that I'm not going to be able to cut two and a half inch by three and a half inch images. My thought process originally was this would be the base of my ATC card. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I even used the washi tape or why I thought the washi tape was a good idea to grid that off, but it turned out okay. So I'm cutting out just the images themselves. And now that I have that cut out, I decide I want a white border around it. And I didn't leave one when I cut it. So I will create one by adhering it to a piece of white watercolor paper. We'll glue that down after we ink up the edges. And I'm inking it up with a black archival ink. And there we go. I'm pulling out the glitter glue. And it is down. Now I will ink up the outside edge of that white just to give that a little more definition. I'm going to go in with the same color, the black archival. 
And I have some bronze gilding wax that I would like to use around the outside edge as well to give it just a little hint of sparkle. So that's ready to go. And now to create the actual ATC card, which is two and a half inches by three and a half inches, I'm going to coat this um, piece of watercolor paper with some water. And I'm going to use the same two colors, that burnt sienna and the blue. So let's start with the blue and just lay some blue in. Just let it kind of go where it wants to go. Get everything covered. I think just the blue alone is too stark, so that's why I'm adding the burnt sienna. I'm sorry, I've used raw umber. That's raw umber. And there, I think that will make a nice background, so I'm gonna allow that to dry. Probably speed it up a little bit with my blow dryer. And now I'm spreading just some black acrylic ink. And if you hear little tiny voices in the background, my granddaughters are here. Three and five. And I'm using that lid to put the little circles around the edge and the hotel key card to add some lines. And there, I think that will look nice. So. We will get that into place. And now to put the shrinky dink on. So I, th I think that that shrinky dink naked is a little too stark. So I shall add a little piece of gold fabric that I have in my scrap tub over here and some white cheesecloth. I'm going to splatter that background with some of the gold to kind of keep that continuity between the focal point and the background. I'm going to go around the outside edge with that gold pen. And there, that focal point is going to lay into place nicely now, I think. So let's glue it into place. So I'm, I'm happy with that. I think the focal point needs to, I'm trying to decide if I want to center it or if I want to put it off to the center. And I think that I will off center it down here on the right hand side. Just add a little bit of that black around the outside edge. And there. You're helping me with a voiceover, Melanie. Uh, I, I need more milk. Okay, I'll get you more in just a second. So now let's add the focal point, or the focal point to the focal point. How about that? The shrinky dink will add to the front of this card with that little bit of cheesecloth in the background. 
and that tiny bit of, of gold. There's just a tiny bit of gold fabric there as well. Let's glue that into place. And there, I think we have it finalized. So there is the final card. Here are the other two that I made to send off. One is very similar. The other is, is uh, you know, a little different, but in the same line. So I have completed my three cards to send for the ATC swap in the Facebook group. To Old Crows Mixed Media. So come on over and join us if you would like to participate in the Nick Swap. We'd love to have you. There's quite a few things going on over there. So hope to have you join us. And I shall say bye for now. <laughs>